Look who we've got here now, the man himself, who knows more about the food industry than just about anybody. John Taffer is back. All right, John, here's the question. You've gone through a pandemic. You've gone through labor shortages. Now you're getting hit with inflation. You've been really clobbered. You have been clobbered. You is know, there any sign of an improvement? Well, you know, the consumer uh, uh, has stepped up. Look, Las Vegas just had a historic quarter. I mean, it's unbelievable, Stuart. When we said there's a pent-up demand, we saw it in Las Vegas. They came back in huge numbers. The average restaurant is up between 15 and 25 percent in revenue to pre-pandemic levels. Is that right? So the revenues are there, but we don't have the staff to realize it. So brands are fighting to maintain standards to protect their brand. You can't wait 20 minutes to be served, a half hour to be served. Then we not only have inflationary issues, specifications change. For example, let's say you're normal chicken breast was this size and you had a bun that it's in a plate. Now the new chicken breast you get is smaller, doesn't fit on the bun, doesn't look right on the plate. We can't get consistent products in steaks and chicken and all of these. So consistency make, is an issue. But you're still making money. You Your know, operations, I'm sure, are making money. It's a challenge. Now, my Taffer's taverns are making money, but we have very computerized robotic kitchens that reduced labor costs by about 50% in the back of the house. So we were sort of ahead of the curve, Stuart. Three years ago, when Trump was still president, we had unemployment very low, yep. very hard to find employees. So we created a new kitchen model that didn't need the employees, that was all computerized. So it's consistent and it's high quality, and we solved it. But the average restaurant hasn't. And with sure. old style kitchens, if you you don't have the amount of people in that kitchen, you're in big trouble. Then you got to retrain them every week and retrain them and retrain them as they turn over. It's a nightmare, Stu. It's a, the customers are back. Now we're just fighting to take care of them and fighting to keep our prices in line. Uh, you got a book coming out. I do. Tomorrow, I believe. Yep. Uh, conflict, uh, the power of conflict. Yes. Speak your mind and get the results you want. <laughs> That's John Taffer all over, isn't it? That's exactly what you do. It is. You know, on Bar Rescue, I learned after 12 years, I use conflict deliberately to change people's minds and open up their mind. And you know, in today's society, Stuart, no matter what side of the political spectrum you're on, if we don't speak up, our ideals are going to disappear. And this book was really written to teach people how to engage in dignified, respectful conflict, not cursing each other out online, but understanding that you and I might disagree with things. How do we sit down in a dignified way and try to change each other's minds? I've watched Bar Rescue. I've seen you get a little hot under the collar with something. You, you've pounded the table. I sure do. Is that... Uh, power of conflict? Well, not really to that degree, because some of that that I do is because of the pressure I'm under. You know, I do a 30-day project in four, in four days, so yeah. I'm under a lot of... I don't, I don't recommend that for normal people. It's more about dignified, strategic, and deliberate engagement with that brother at Thanksgiving who you argue with, you know, okay. with the boss, with conflicts in the workplace, conflicts in schools. Conflicts are all around us today. I want to arm people to not be scared to defend what they believe in. Is it a how-to book? It is very much a how-to book. It has charts and various gauges to gauge tension level and such. And it's, it's all about engaging in conflict, again, in a non-emotional and respectful way and getting what you want. That's fascinating. I try to get what I want with a smile. Does that work? Oh, it works for me. <laughs> John Taffer, you, sir, are all right. And thanks very much for bringing the book along. My pleasure. I look forward to reading it. Thanks. John Taffer, everyone. Good man.